Hi, my name is Gordon Singh. I am the prime four from every primary school. So here we will still be continuing with theoretical mechanics at chapter one, kinematics. Okay. So for kinematics, where are we at? We are still at the eleventh part, the circular motion. So for the circular motion, we've learned until the eye. But wait, what's the eye? The eye is the moment of inertia. What's the moment of inertia? It's the quantity expression of the tendency. It produces the angular acceleration and resists the circular motion. Okay. So over here, before. So mainly we have about the eye, right? But which eye is it? So for the first time, we got the eye, which is M R square. It's not the one we wanted. Why? Because that that one is just for one particle, and it's the moment of inertia for that particle. Or else it's just the ring with the same mass, and then there's the same radius. Okay. But what we really wanted is. For a rod, for a rod, what is it for? For a rod, it will just keep going like this and keep on continuing. But over here, what's the difference? Although if it's just this one particle, we even if we have this, we will of course ignore it. But in this case, we must must not ignore it. So basically, we must care about it. So for this time, well, before we continue on with the next part, let's make a comparison between the translation and the rotation. But wait, other than translation and rotation. Why do we need four boxes? Let's tell you. This is the relation. For the relation, what's so special? The special thing is that for relation is that it's saying about these two, one thing are、uh, might be similar or different. So over here, then what's this for? Other than putting things here, okay. This is the quantity. So over here, what's for the first one? The first one about the displacement. But what's for the displacement? For the translation. Oh wait, there's not the displacement. So for the displacement here, it's delta r vector and v r vector. But what about rotation? First is delta theta vector, then d theta vector, like this. Are there any relationships between them? No, there aren't even any relationship. So let me write this line. Let me draw. Like this. So what's for the next one? The next one, the entire is something about in a straight line. For example, you run, you run on the running track, right? But just take it as you just jogging. You you are not in a marathon, okay? Just take it as that you. So that's your velocity or speed. But if you have, wait. Enough velocity. 
is velocity. Like this. Or speed. But wait, what's the difference between velocity and speed? Of course, if you're saying you're running on the track, of course. And you ask for the speed. Okay, so basically that you're not telling that person whether are you running to like this or are you running like this. Which side? You didn't tell them. But if it's velocity, you tell them that are you running from here to here or is it the opposite round? Okay? So over here, in this case, it is that For velocity and speed for translation, it will become Wait. Just pat. What is it? I can add two 
letter to add. Let me give you a clue, then you are tell me the title for those. Best. Which is the best title? So over here, I'm going to write this. So guess the title? Okay, so let me tell you. Energy. Well, for that is kin kinetic. So energy and kinetic, we both them kinetic energy. So for the kinetic energy, what's the relation? So the relation will be wait. Oh wait, it's RG why not RG or so for this part the relation is for this EK is actually equal this wait 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 it's the total, okay? So this. Okay, then over here, it's the T, and then this, at the R. So thus, basically, these two add together makes the total. So they go together to add to make one clip. So over here, let's give one more. And plus, oh wait a second, did you think this we just said about kinetic energy? Kinetic energy, that's what we're going to do for the next lesson. Since we already have the acceleration. So after the acceleration, we'll do the kinetic energy, okay? Okay. So over here, last one. Last one, what is it? It's something similar to this. You don't use E, you use P. Wait, should you have a vector above, an arrow above? That tells you where you are going? Yes. So over here, this. Guess the title. And then if you get this title, right, good for you. If we get it wrong now, you know that it's the kinetic energy. So over here, what is it? So let me just explain this. Like this. Now guess it. Mo. It's something similar to this I. Moment of inertia, right? It has the first one similar. Momentum. But the momentum is something like the kinetic energy is just that you use those for the P as the momentum, okay? So in this one's translation, you will use the M, V, and then the V above have an arrow. But for this, again, it's the moment of inertial I and the omega, and the omega above have the arrow, okay? So what's the relationship? So it's still the same thing. Wait, have you noticed one thing that is very weird? Yeah, it is. One thing.